Well, I first came to New York when I was 24 and I absolutely fell in love with the city. I was on a project from London and convinced my bosses at the time that it would be a good idea to send me out here to start the office. And it was just, it was an infectious city. I just had to be part of it. It was just the energy. Every time you turned a corner, there was someone doing something interesting, someone creating something. And it's so inclusive. You know, there's no barriers in New York. If you want to have a go, people people want you to have a go. They want you to, to try and, and get involved. Uh, so I just knew I had to be part of it. And then spent a good year campaigning to get myself transferred out to this office. And if you could talk just a little bit about the, you talked about New York being full of tribes. I think that's yeah, really yeah, yeah. So uh, one of the reasons I absolutely adore New York is it's just full of tribes and tribes of all different kinds. So you sort of have the art scene, you've got the music scene, you've got the entrepreneur scene, you've got the business corporate scene, you've got the country club scene, and all of which you can just dip into these tribes and no one minds. You know, it's, it's really, there's no barriers. You can just, you can try things on, you can move around, you can have, you know, go and visit some galleries in Chelsea and then watch some music in the Lower East Side and head out to some warehouse party in Bushwick and, and no one minds. You're always welcome wherever you are. And it's, it's a really, it's an incredible thing for a city to be able to offer, it really is. I run a website called Never Liked It Anyway, which is a, an e-commerce platform for people to sell all the stuff they're left with when relationships end. Uh, it's really meant to be a bit cheeky, really meant to be a bit funny, and really just about moving on. So breakups happen to everyone. When they happen, you think they're the worst thing in the world, but they're fine. They really are. They can be fine. And uh, if you can approach it with a twinkle in your eye, sell some of the stuff that's left over. So it might be some jewelry your ex-boyfriend gave you or concert tickets you bought to a concert you no longer want to see. If you can just sell them, make some cash, and buy yourself a plane ticket to Rome, then that seems like a pretty good outcome. So I started that business probably a year and a half ago, and it's just been fantastic. The reception it's got has been is really interesting. I think people really liked it because it was the right kind of tone and the right kind of attitude. So it wasn't all out brash and mean. Um, but it wasn't too soft and, you know, big group hug either. It was this kind of perfect balance of, you know, sort of empowered female, get yourself back together and, and move on. Um, so it's been just an incredible ride. I've met so many fantastic entrepreneurs, mentors, just contacts through it. And it's, it just feels like every time I, I look, another door's open somehow. So it's, it's fantastic. Sure. And the name of my, my business is neverlikedanyway.com. So a website for now, but but trying to kind of get into the TV space and, and also getting into all sorts of TV, TV space columns and, and who knows. So fingers crossed. <laughs>